Hi everyone, my name is Philip and welcome to my channel. I've got a crypto rig with a pair of water-cooled RTX 3090 GPUs and it's currently running Windows and I've been wanting to try Hive OS for quite a while. I've tried Hive OS once before but um, it doesn't support the fan uh, controllers on my Gigabyte B560M motherboard so I had to go back to Windows again. But I've got myself a NZXT RGB and fan controller now that just attaches via a USB header and I've made up a Hive OS SSD. So let's try and get everything mounted and get it going. So there's three things I need to control. There's a pair of fans on a 240mm radiator just along here. I need to run these at 90%. There is the water pump uh, here. I need to run this at 50%. And then there's a 360mm radiator over here with three fans, and I need to run those at around uh, 90%. Um, so I'm thinking I'm going to mount the fan controller comes with these magnetic strips, so I think I'm going to try and magnetically mount it uh, right there, because it's right in the middle of all three things that need to be controlled. So uh, I need to basically cut all the cable ties, pull back all the fan control cables, and I need to swap out the uh, SSD. So um, we'll do that all in um, uh, fast forward. trial fit of things to sort of see if it'll look like it'll work okay so if I put the uh, fan controller there I've got to uh, get access to SATA power and uh, I have a SATA power connector just here so that should be that should be okay now the NZXT came with these uh, one to three fan splitters so I've got to hook up these two fans on one cable the, uh, the pump I'll leave on its own separate port and then the three fans on the 360 will put on their own cable Okay, so let's try cabling it all back together. I'll do this in um, uh, fast forward again. <laughs> took out quite a bit of bulk of cabling. I, used, I was having to use these uh, powered four-way uh, fan splitters before, but basically because I've got the fan controller now, all of this bulk of cabling is um, gone. I think if I was doing it again, I don't know if I'd actually use the uh, motherboard fan, con fan headers. Now I've seen um, how much neater it makes it using a fan controller. All right, I'll go plug this in and then we'll um, power up and jump in. Okay, everything's powered up nicely. Now it's time to get the software configuration done. Now you need to get the uh, LAN IP of your rig. You can get this either from Hive OS or perhaps by looking at your router. And then uh, you need to SSH into it. The default username and password is user one and the password is just simply the number one. Um, now I would suggest um, stopping the miners straight away until you get the, the um, calling completed. So I would do a minor stop minor stop command um, now I've just done this um, before so my miners are already stopped but you'll get some message about um, 
about it stopping the miners that any miners that may be running. Now I'm going to put uh, this in the comments section below. But the first thing I'm going to change is, um, uh, or currently uh, this version of Hive OS is using uh, Ubuntu 18.04, and this uses Python version two. Um, Python version two is a bit archaic, and no one really uses it anymore, including the liquid control, control cooling system. So we're going to change this over so it defaults to making Python three the default interpreter. Um, so the next thing we need to do is install all of the components required for controlling the fans using liquid CTL. So we're going to do a apt install command. Um, now I've done this once before, so it's already ran through, but you will find this will run through a while and install whole uh, lots of components. Now the um, program we're going to use to actually control all the flan speeds is called liquid CTL, liquid control, and it's a Python program. So we're going to uh, install that now from the Python repository. So my one's uh, already done. Okay, so now we're pretty much ready to uh, be able to start testing. Now the first thing we can do to make sure everything's working is ask liquid control to list all of the uh, things it can see. So we'll go liquid control list. So it can see two things, the gigabyte RGB fusion controller, which is on the motherboard and the NZXT RGB and fan controller, which is what I've um, just installed. Uh, we can also ask it to show us the status of everything in the system. So liquid CTL space status, and um, it shows the th uh, three fans plugged in and the speed and the RPM they're running at. So fan one is my water pump, fan two is my uh, 240 millimeter radiator, and fan three is my uh, 360 millimeter radiator. So that's all looking good. So we'll just do a little uh, test. So before we can program it, we have to ask it to initialize uh, all of the um, controllable devices it can see. So we do a liquid CTL initialize all. And uh, with any luck, yep, it's managed to initialize all the cards. And then uh, we'll try telling it to uh, set the speed of one uh, fan, in this case the pump. Oops, put that command in there twice. So you go liquid CTL and then match, and then you've got to, um, from the listing screen here, you've got to give enough text for it to be unique. So I've only got one thing of NZXT written on it, so I'm going to go match NZXT and then set fan one speed 50%. Okay, it's taking that command. Okay, let's try setting it to 90%. And if I ask it for the status, I can see that that pump is now running at 90%. Okay, so now we've reached the point where we can see all the uh, fans and pumps in the system and we can program. The next thing is to configure them so that um, at boot time, it'll go to the levels we want. Okay, so once we've got our settings, we wanna make sure they take effect that system boot time. And uh, to do that, we got to create a, a, a Ubuntu 18, which is what HiOS uses, uses system D to control starting services. So we're going to start a new, create a new service called liquid service. Uh, I'm using VI, but you just use whatever your favorite editor is. And uh, I'll put this in the description below as well. So basically we uh, just got to describe our new unit service and we run uh, this once. And initially we tell it to initialize all the drivers uh, that it can see. And then we put in all the commands we want to do to program our fans. So um, the, these are, I got from testing before. So I'm gonna set my fan one, which is my water pump to 50%. And then the two fans or the fan banks to 90%. Uh, so once you've done that, save that off. Okay. And so. Uh, we now tell the system to uh, reload all of the services since we've just created a new one. And then try and manually start your service. Now mine's already running, so I'll probably just get a... Okay, no, maybe it wasn't already. All right, it's just doing that each time. So you want to be able to start it without there being any errors. If there's errors, you need to resolve them. And then once you've got the um, it running nicely, tell it to enable the service at system boot. So every time you reboot, that um, configuration will take effect. So uh, yeah, so that's how to get um, 
uh, water pumps and chassis fans and cooling fans running under uh, Hive OS when um, Ubuntu doesn't have native um, support for whatever your chips it is, like, like the gigabit motherboard I've got, just using a uh, third bit party USB controller like uh, something from the NZXT family. I hope you help. Thanks for watching. Bye.